Um, I'm going to spend just a couple of minutes without any slides. Um, I'd like to say without a great deal of preparation, but uh, I, I don't say without a great deal of preparation, or Claire will um, slap me later, um, but to talk about the regional hubs. Uh, because Alan was marvellous, actually. I actually discovered that Alan was running um, a CAS hub event up in Preston through Twitter, funnily enough. Um, one of his colleagues up in Preston tweeted and said, I've just started doing my, uh, my very first CAS hub event. And then I sat sort of thinking, oh, really? Oh. I didn't know about this, but I don't have to know about it in some ways. If you want to run a CAS regional hub, do it, as Alan did with colleagues up in Preston. All we do sort of ask is you let Claire know. Claire, will you stand up and turn around in the front? Um, Claire works with uh, me on CAS as part of the BCS and has a particular remit for the regional hubs. All we need to do is let us know that you're doing it. That's all. Because if we know that you're doing it, we do have a, uh, we use this Eventbrite page, as some of you have been uh, tangled with Eventbrite in booking for the conference. Um, all CAS events we'd like to put onto Eventbrite, not because we're control freaks, but just so that if we give you access to that as a regional hub leader, then you can just post your event onto that Eventbrite site, and then Claire and I will know about it. You have to email us, we'll suddenly see it pop up and think, oh, you published an event. There's a hub going on in Berkshire, or there's a hub going on in, in, in Plymouth, or there's a hub going on in Teesside. Lovely. But you can then just do that. I need to give you access to that particular account, so you drop me an email, uh, and then you can just do that. And the idea of the hubs, I like the hubs. And we've got a number of people here who have led hub meetings in the past. Uh, we have Sue here from Essex and Mark here from Teesside. Uh, I do with the Cambridgeshire one, and Sophie's involved with the Essex uh, one as well. Darren's done stuff in, uh, in Buckinghamshire. Um, hoping I'm not missing anybody out. Um, but those of us who have run hubs, I find it, it's, a, it's a low maintenance. hope people are going to just nod. Oh, yeah, it doesn't take any time at all. Um, but it's quite high impact. Uh, and the idea of the hubs are that we meet once a month. Sorry, once a month. <laughs> once a term. Um, and rarely in the summer term, because summer term is exams, and teachers tend to be much more busy in the summer term. So it might only be, only be two meetings a year, once in the autumn term, once in the spring term. Um, I've tried a variety of different formats in Cambridgeshire, um, either running from two till five or four till six or whatever. And actually, the twilight seems to work best. And the idea is that it's just us as teachers getting together, doing this, actually, just inviting people to come along and say, uh, can you come and talk about what you're doing in your classroom? Or I've got some good resources for Greenfoot Scratch or whatever, or um, I'm having trouble with the GCSE computing, can I just come and have a, an open forum about GCSE computing? And it's just teachers gathering together, um, talking to each other. So there isn't this sense of needing the, the great and the good stand in front of you and give the benefit of their expertise, though that may be relevant in some circumstances of the specific training that uh, is uh, on demand or in demand in your particular region. But it's very much just teachers getting together and just talking and sharing ideas, sharing resources. Um, the CAS are happy to fund if you need to pay for travel expenses, for speakers to get to you, if you want some buns to throw at each other during the evening, a uh, few glasses of wine, we can, we can find some uh, certain amount of funding to support you in your uh, activities. Um, and it's, it's just down to us to do it. If you think, oh, I can do that, I can just, it's a, it's a meeting once a term. Is that all it is for a couple of hours? Yes. And all you have to do, just sign up on the Eventbrite page and publish it? Yes. And then if we know about it, we can then publicize it on the CAS mailing list, we can tweet it, we can tell the TES forum about it, we can use whatever networks that are available to us and let everybody that we possibly know about it. Or we might find that we know the local authority advisor in that area or whoever, and you know, we can attach you to the local community where we possibly can. If you want to have connections with the local higher education, then the chances are there are people connected within the CAS community who either know somebody in that university or actually are active in that particular university. Um, so it's a very easy win, uh, I think. So if you're interested in starting a, a regional hub, simply let Claire know. She's going to have some various forms around tomorrow. But I thought I'd just stand up and say, this is what the hubs do. And we really want, would, what my ideal would be that if there's a hub operating in every region of the United Kingdom, um, that is about what, 40 minutes traveling time, so that you, at the end of your busy day, you feel completely knackered at the end of your day. You think, actually, yeah, I don't mind a half an hour drive or a 40 minute drive. It's going to be with friends. Um, I just fancy kind of blowing off about whatever it is that you want to talk about 
on that particular EV, come and have a glass of wine and share. And you, chances are you pick up new ideas and you pick up new, um, new thoughts about different ways of developing ideas within your classroom. Low maintenance, but high impact. But it does, rem does need somebody in the local community to say, I'll do that, and to put your hand up and follow that through. Um, and as the year progresses, maybe uh, one of the thoughts is we'll, the idea of actually having <coughs> regional coordinators for CAS is beginning to be, uh, is beginning to be mooted. Uh, as we begin to ramp up the CPD program, I'm running a forum on that. I'd like to hear your views on the CPD work uh, that CAS can do next year. Then there's a role there for the hubs for delivering training, mentoring, and a whole variety of other, uh, other aspects. So that's the regional hubs. That's what they are. They're very informal. They're very casual. But all I do ask is if you do run one, let Claire and I know. And the best way to do that is by signing up through the CAS Eventbrite page, and then we hear about it immediately. Adam. You're absolutely right. Uh, did you hear the question, the, the, the point at the back? The idea being that if, the, if those CAS hub meetings, if they can be videoed or streamed, then we can connect wherever we are in the world. It's a good idea. Um, if schools have got that technology to enable them to do that, HE, then it'll be something we ought to be looking to do. On that basis, come to a minute, Darren, if I may. On that basis, I do run, uh, at the moment it's me, um, runs a, a, a monthly hub, uh, a monthly national hub um, online. Are you, by the courtesy of Vital, Duncan, is he Duncan made his way down? Duncan Garbett, who's representative of Vital here. Um, through Vital, they have a number of licenses that we can use um, using a software called Illuminate. And it's an online software. Uh, and they're called Teach Shares. Um, there's nothing magical about a Teach Share. It's simply somebody running a hub meeting, i.e. presenting about a particular topic that they're particularly interested in, uh, but doing it online. Uh, Mark participated in an early, uh, was it the first one? Did you be the very first one, the very first teacher? It was an early one anyway. Darren and Ilya as well were involved in a, uh, where's Ilya? I've lost Ilya. Ilya at the back there ran another one as well. Uh, Akin's colleague Aaron Sloman did a fascinating one just this last month. And forgive me, John Stout here did one on BYOB. And you know, these guys will tell you that actually, was it daunting? Was it difficult? You were the very first one, John, weren't you? So there were lots of teething problems. Yeah, yeah. Um, no. It doesn't, no. We could do it if we... I think it's a good idea. Yes, absolutely. No, it could be done more regularly. It's simply bandwidth and time. It's nothing to do with the vital Illuminate licenses at all. No. No, it's all paid for. But what it does need, again, like a lot of these things within CAS, is for somebody to say, yeah, I'll do it. Because at the moment, it's me. And I talk to Simon Peyton Jones and Bill Mitchell here and others and you know, whatever else. Uh, there's only so much that one can do within, within a week. So I couldn't do one one a week. I can do just about manage one a month. Yeah, it's fairly. I think the, the teachers is a very good, very good thing. It needs somebody who will take it on and run it. That's the bull truth of it. If somebody says, yeah, I'm happy to run the teach share program on behalf of CAS, then they can run it once a month, once a week, once a fortnight, do what they need. And then Vital will provide the uh, username, password to enable you to set up the meeting, and then you're away. That's all, all is involved. That's right. No, it's a very important question. It's good. I mean, I love the teach shares. I think they're absolutely brilliant. 
And every month we get about 20 people joining in and, uh, and they've been really, really useful. And uh, for those of us who have got families and find it difficult to get out of an evening or actually completely you know, shattered at the end of a long teaching day, we kick off at eight o'clock. I've usually got a, a, a glass of wine in front of me and we're just listening to what the people are saying. We're typing in a back channel of a, in, in, the, in the chat window and they're absolutely superb. Mark, you're gonna make a point. Yes. 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 That's true. Anyway, so that's kind of a general message, you know, that we'll probably may get this message several times in, in different in different quarters. You know, there is no them, there is, it, it, it's only us. Uh, if you want to tweet us about Kaz, lovely, do so. Use the hashtag compact, compact, uh, if you want to run a hub, let either Claire or myself know uh, the opportunity is there. Take up Darren's uh, suggestion there about maybe making the teach sheds more regularly. Lovely. Oh, yes, please. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, but it just needs more people to say, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Thank you.